guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about interior and decor and I'm gonna show you my new posters that I've been gifted by Desenio and I'm also gonna be talking through what I'm lusting over interior wise at the moment. So today's video is actually paid and presented by Desenio so we've made this video in co collaboration with each other. I have been working with them in the past and I really really like their selection of posters. We have a bunch of them around in our house already. So I thought I wanted to give you a quick tour around the house and I also wanted to share some images with you from my Pinterest. So like I said, I've gotten a bunch of new posters from Desenio and I've actually updated an existing photo wall in our house with just a couple of new posters and then I've moved around a bunch of the other posters around in the house. So just adding a few new posters here and there and moving some of them around to get a fresh new feeling into your home is a really easy way to get kind of an update in your home. I just quickly wanted to mention that Desenio has a very nice policy in terms of sustainability. So for every new tree used, they will plant two new ones. And then all of the posters are also printed on eco certified paper. So definitely thumbs up for taking responsibility. So as most of you guys know, I live in Denmark. I'm very proud of my Scandinavian roots. And we've just set our beautiful light space house for sale because we want to move back to our hometown so we will be moving a little bit closer to the German border. I'm obviously hoping that we will have the house sold within the next six months but you never know. We've already been house hunting a lot, we've seen a lot of houses. Some of them are a bit similar to this one but in general they're a bit older. Some are like a house where you have to put in a new kitchen or a new bathroom. Nevertheless we can't really do anything but wait until our own house is sold before we can buy a new one. But yeah, like I said, I thought I wanted to just show you around, show you my new posters, what I've done to just get a bit of newness into the house. And um, then I also wanted to show you some images of things that I'm, I'm thinking about incorporating into our new place. So if you haven't watched my full home tour yet, the one that I did, I think like two years ago when we've just moved into the house, we've been living here for three and a half years now, then I'm gonna link it right here on the screen if you want to get like the full tour of our house. Many of you have already seen our house a bunch of times, but it's very spacious, very Scandinavian and very minimal, just how we like it. So this is the kitchen slash dining area, very nice and spacious as well. And here we have that existing photo wall that I mentioned before. And I've just switched around a couple of posters. So these three over here are some that I've just added today. And then I've moved the other two that were already there into the uh, bedroom. <laughs> so I really wanted to add a bit more softness to this area of the photo wall. And I think that both like the grass here and then the poster that says Hüge, which you know that I'm all about. Um, and also the iconic white chair, which is a Danish design chair that is high on my wish list. At least just one of them in a corner somewhere would be the dream. So I'm very pleased with how that turned out. So when we walk from the dining area to the living room, we have our bedroom right in here. So we have this huge walkthrough closet, which I am so gonna miss. I hope that when we move, we'll be able to make something very similar to this. So my husband's side is this one, and then this is my side of the closet. So then we walk through and we get to the bedroom, which is also very airy and you can see there's like this very high ceiling. The lamp is from Ikea, by the way. I know that a lot of you always ask questions about this very lamp. I think it suits the bedroom perfectly because it kind of looks like a cloud, like when you're dreaming. Um, so here are the posters that were on the photo wall in the dining area before. I've just moved them in here to just again, change things up a bit. And I've casually thrown over a blanket on the bed. I think that gives a very nice touch. And again, it makes everything look very soft and a little bit more effortless. So I've chosen to mix the black wooden frames with the natural ones, because again, I think it gives a very soft touch to the very minimal posters. It can kind of look very harsh if everything is just completely black. So I think the wooden ones thrown in there together with the black ones are a perfect way to balance everything out. As you can see, we like to mix natural wood with 
um, like black and white woods already. So I think it ties everything in the home really nice together. So I actually quickly wanted to unbox something because right before I started this vlog, I actually got a parcel from West Year Collective. So they have kindly sent me a Christmas gift. And um, I think I already know what this is. I haven't wrapped it up yet. This is from Deep Teak and they make very luxurious scented candles. I've never had one of their candles before, so I'm very psyched to see what this looks like and what it smells like. I'm gonna find a nice spot for it in the house after just unwrapping it. I absolutely love the design of the packaging itself. I feel like this in itself would look great any place in our home. And I can already smell it and it smells absolutely amazing. Wow. So I have absolutely no idea how to pronounce this. If any of you know or have this candle, just please let me know in the comments down below. It smells absolutely divine. Kind of like pine and very fresh oranges. So is it mandarins maybe? So definitely very fresh and um, something that you could have lighted all throughout the year, I'd say. I actually think I'm gonna take it to the office because I have a few more posters in here that I'd like to share with you. And also then maybe I could light it up while I'm working. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it right here in the window. So now we are in the office, which you've already seen a bunch of times as well. Um, this is new, you haven't seen this yet, maybe you've already seen it over on my Instagram, but this is a vintage mirror that I've bought pre-loved from someone else. And I absolutely love this mirror. It is just so amazingly beautiful. Um, and I've been wanting a mirror like this for quite some time. And then I conveniently enough found one that was for sale in this little city that we live in right now, which is just my luck, you know, I thought that must be destiny. So, so on the other side of the office over here, we have our secondhand couch right, right here. And then a bunch of old pillows. You guys know that I'm obsessed with stripes. And then over here, I have two new posters also from Desenio. And this one has like a feathery backdrop and then it says stream. I just loved the overall graphic feel, very minimal. Um, and then again, to give it that soft touch, I added a natural wooden frame. And then this one, kind of like a French girl vibe, a woman in a very basic long shirt having a cigarette. And this is the spot where I work. And then like last time when I ordered posters from Desenio, I made like a document so that I could see how the posters were gonna look together with the ones that I already had. And I definitely recommend that you um, put them together like this also because then you're sure you won't have to return anything and in a way you'll also create less waste that way so so I think I'm gonna sit down now make myself a nice cup of tea and then I will just run through some images that I found on Pinterest some style directions that I'm lusting for and hopefully that will give you guys some inspiration as well and definitely also some ideas of things that I want to create myself or spaces I want to kind of copy paste into my new home. And um, yeah, let's do that. So as I just mentioned before, I have an entire board, obviously with a lot of interior inspiration. I mean, who doesn't in 2019? And I have been updating this board for the past couple of weeks a lot because it's not that I feel like we need a lot of new furniture and things like that, but just inspiration on how to placing things, especially so it looks very cozy. And yeah, I just like this whole cozy Nordic vibe. And that's definitely something that I will be going for in our new place as well. So if you look through my Pinterest board, everything is still very minimal, very monochrome. And that's how I like it. I like to soften everything up with natural wood and sheepskin stripes and then a couple of green plants here and there and then that's fine with me clutter free spaces are something that i find super inspiring and it makes me calm and it's just the way that i like it um and another way that i bring just a pop of color into our home again in that whole natural um, and very monochrome way is also by choosing posters that have a bit of green in them or just something very, very subtle and timeless at the same time. So a thing that I definitely see ourselves making ourselves some way, if it's possible in our new home, 
is a metal frame with glass. And we actually have a very close um, couple of friends who just refurbished an entire house. Um, and they've made two of these kind of metal frame glass windows inside their house and it just looks amazing. I'm so jealous. We have to figure out if we, if we can get that vibe going on in our own new home as well. So I'm really into tables of all sorts, both in like the office, but also as a dining room table that have this very natural, very raw wood surface. So that's something that I definitely see ourselves making at some point. So I have these few images on my Pinterest board that I think I will definitely get inspired by. I think it looks absolutely amazing. So another thing that we've been dreaming about for a while that I also mentioned before because I have that poster with the white chair by Hans Wiener, um, which is a Danish design classic. I think you can find it in many, many Danish homes. Um, and also when you search on Pinterest for Nordic or minimal style um, interior, then these chairs are just all over the place. That's definitely a chair that I've been dreaming about adding to our home for a while. Even just one chair because they are very pricey um, and even if you buy them pre-loved, which I am very sure that we would do, they're still very pricey. So getting six of them around our dining table would, would be over the top maybe, but having that chair in just a corner or somewhere around the house to just get that Scandinavian vibe into our home even more is something that I'm dreaming about as well. Then another thing that I've been lusting over and we haven't done it here because it's not possible because we have this very high ceiling, but I'd really love to make our own frame, like homemade frame from water pipes to wrap lights around. So I have a bunch of pictures on my Pinterest if you have no idea what I'm talking about, but that gives a better image of what it is that I'm thinking about. So either that being over the dining table or in the kitchen or somewhere in the house, I'd really love to make like a homemade frame for all of these lights. And then also you could obviously put in some hooks and hang on some plants. You, you know, you can get those plant hangers, which I'm a huge fan of as well. I absolutely love them. So you can hang up a bunch of plants or maybe even some herbs or something like that if it was in the kitchen. So speaking of plants, I have found this absolutely amazing image on Pinterest of an old ladder that is hanging from the ceiling. And then they've just hung a bunch of different plants again in these hangers down from that old ladder. Kind of looks like a rainforest, but at the same time, it's super cool. And I am so in love with this image. And in general, I'm really, really dreaming about having more plants that are hanging from the ceiling. So another thing that we've actually also talked about making here in our existing home is a homemade lounge in the um, window area in the living room because I just like the idea of having a very low lounge that you can just with a lot of pillows so you can sit down with a book, a nice cup of tea and look outside in the garden. And I have this picture again here on my Pinterest, which I think is great inspiration if it's something that you would want to make yourself, which I think we would definitely do. But again, because we're moving, it's not something that we're going to be doing now. But if there's a nice big window in the living room and if it makes sense, then it's definitely something I see ourselves making in the new place. So I think that's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to share some thoughts on Scandinavian interior and what I'm feeling inspired by at the moment. And then obviously I wanted to show you my new posters. So before I wrap up this video, I just want to mention that I have a 25% off discount code for Desenio to share with you guys. I'll leave the code right here on the screen, but everything will be in the description box as well. So if you feel like spicing up your home with a bunch of new posters just here and there, or maybe just updating an existing wall like I've done, then you can use that code if you want to. So I really hope you enjoyed this video all about Scandinavian interiors and I hope it gave you a boost of inspiration. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to follow me over on my Instagram for lots of daily outfits. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.